Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Tai Chi in the Park. We are here again. It's Tuesday morning at Evelyn's Park, and we are going to be continuing our practice with circle walking. So clear some space and then grab an object and place it on the floor. And that's going to be the marking for the center of our circle for our circle walking practice today. So let me tell you a little bit about circle walking and where it originated. Taoist walk, uh, circle walking uh, was uh, originated by the Taoists of China and they used it as a way of meditating, uh, walking the circle, uh, bringing together uh, the seasons and the cycles of life uh, and walking our way back to the source of all things, the source of all life. And so we've been practicing this for a couple of weeks now. And so now we're going to move on to some of the more internal practices that can come from this uh, circle walking technique. So let's clear some space and get warmed up. Find your feet steady and even, shoulder width distance apart. And let's start by taking a few deep breaths. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, bend the knees, sink into your body. Relaxing deeper and deeper with each exhalation. Working our way down with circular movements of the joints, arms down by your side, inhale, rotate your head to one side, stopping over the shoulder. And exhale, lower the chin down, roll to the other side. Inhale as you pause over the shoulder. And exhale, arms heavy, shoulders sinking. Neck is long. And bringing your chin to center, lifting up through the center, rolling the shoulders up and back, letting the shoulder blades relax down into your back pockets. And now bigger shoulder rolls, bringing the hands up, making circles with the elbows. Nice deep abdominal breaths and this time we're going to reverse drawing down the sternum circling around the rib cage breathing a little deeper And let's take our hands and gently tap around the waist, enlivening the spine. Letting the back of the hands tap against the body as you gently sway your arms. 
The palm in front will tap the front body wherever it lands. Bringing blood flow to the lower back, the waist, and the kidneys. And then letting the front hand tap the front of the shoulder. Back hand taps the bottom of the rib cage. You start to feel a rhythm. And then coming up a little bit higher on the shoulder, closer to the neck. Releasing tension in and around the shoulder area. Clearing space for the heart and lungs. And we're actually doing a full internal massage of all the internal organs as we twist and tap. And then slowly unwind. And take your hands to your hips. Roll your hips in a circle. And if you want to get more of a deeper groin stretch, just spread the feet out a little bit wider. You'll feel the inner thighs open up a little bit more. And we do this to make sure that the bones are sitting properly in the joints. And reverse your circle. Letting anything that may have moved out of place an opportunity to reset. Right, and coming back to center this time hands on the hips but feet together circling the hips around the feet as you push the hips forward be gentle on the lower spine on the lower back bring the tailbone out around the heels and then gently pushing towards the toes opening up the outer hips and coming back to center reverse your circle nice long spine back to center hands on the thighs taking the knees to move in a circular motion rotating into all four corners of the feet And reverse your circles, taking your time here. Come back up to standing, spread the feet apart, shift your weight to one side, pressing into the ball of the foot, 
rotating the ankle and reverse your circle and shift your weight to the other side massaging into the ball of the foot and reverse All right, and standing evenly between two, both feet. Rotate the hands in a circle, opening up the wrists. Making sure energy can flow into the palms and reverse. And open the hands wide and gently close. It's not about making a tight fist, but more about moving each individual joint in the fingers. All right, and inhale, three deep breaths. Slow, long, and deep. Right, feeling ready to walk the circle. So like I mentioned before, it is helpful to get an object. I just pulled a rock from the, from the park and placed it uh, to mark the center of my circle to help me uh, gauge my distance. And so you just wanna step a few feet away from your circle. And we're gonna turn sideways to the center of the circle. So imagining that we have a circle drawn on the floor, on the ground, and you have one foot on the inside of that circle, one foot on the outside of that circle. And we're gonna bring the heels together. So the heels will be on the line, and the toes will be turned out, away from the line. So we're gonna start with our, our first palm, which is eagle spreads wings so we're going to take a deep breath in and exhale bend the knees and the arms come up palms are open and facing each other about the height of the navel elbows are soft shoulders relaxed knees are bent we're in our lowered stance and we want to stay steady on this plane from here we shift our weight to the outside leg and we slide the inside foot out. And it's already turned out at the 45 degree angle. And we reach out with the ball of the foot and then drop the heel. This is our mud stepping. The spine stays upright. We shift the weight forward. The outside leg slides forward. And the outside foot is going to be toes turned inwards to follow the curve of the circle. Ball the foot lands and then the heel drops. Shift the weight forward. Inside foot slides forward, but we stay back weighted. Toes are turned in towards the circle. Shift the weight. Outside foot. Toes turned in towards the circle. Shift the weight slide through drop the heel shift the weight slide through drop the heel so the foot is just skimming over the surface of the ground and you're gliding forward in that slightly lowered stance inside foot is turned out outside foot is turned in Take your time. As you are learning how to walk, 
in new and different ways. Now be sure to not walk on the line. Let your feet be the width of your hips. So a wide enough gait. And we'll walk the circle one more round before we transition and change directions. If your feet, if you feel like you're having difficulty with your balance, your feet may be too close together. General rule is to keep your feet the width of your hips. Now, once you get the hang of it, Allow your eyes to gaze forward, noticing how with each step you have a different perspective. You're starting to look at the world in 360 rather than in a linear fashion. Now, as you approach your starting point, we're going to pause with the inside foot forward to transition. We're going to shift the weight forward. The outside foot comes around and makes a T-step. So we rotate strongly with that front or outside leg. Then we shift the weight and we make an L-step. Make sure your step is wide enough. Shift the weight. Now the new inside leg slides forward. Ball of the foot rests on the ground, heel drops. And begin your circle walking in the other direction. And we're going to transition again. Outside foot, T-step. Inside foot turns out to become the outside foot. Shift the weight forward. Slide the inside foot forward. And begin circle walking in the other direction. This time, we're going to bring the arms up about the height of the heart. Eagle soars. And transition again. T-step. L-step. Shift the weight. Slide the foot forward. Try not to look at your feet. Widen your stance. Feel firmly rooted and connected to the ground or to the floor. Arms are open and receiving. Crown of the head is lifted. And 
now we're going to do a palm change with the transition. T-step, L-step. When you slide your inside foot forward, tiger opens its mouth. Back of the hand comes in front of the forehead. Inside arm points towards the center of the circle and we look towards the center now. Before we've just been following, our eyes have been just been following the circle. Now we're going to gaze inwards at the circle. Begin your mud stepping. as if you are sliding your feet through mud as you're walking the circle. And now your perspective has changed. And you may begin to feel or sense that you're turning the circle Sometimes they refer to this as turning the millstone. And let's transition here. T-step, L-step. Our hands go to the outside of the circle. Inside foot slides forward. And then we transition the arms. Palms are open and out. Spread the fingers. as if you were holding a ball in each hand. Here in this practice, we start to gain sensitivity in the hands and the feet. Let's transition again. T-step, L-step. Hands go to the outside of the circle. Slide the inside foot forward. Transition the arms. And turn the circle. And then ask yourself, am I walking the circle or is the circle walking me? Lengthen the waist. And let's transition again one more time. T-step. L step, outside, inside. Beginning to walk with confidence. not worrying about the destination. All right, let's transition. T-step, L-step. And this time, we're going to transition from here into monkey hangs from the tree. So now we're spiraling and turning the heart towards the center now even more. Our hands are spiraling. Hand is coming across the body, turning the palm out. Other hand is spiraling up. And begin your mud stepping.
Notice where your eyes are gazing. Let's transition. T-step, L-step. We look to the outside of the circle. Inside foot slides forward. The bottom hand spirals up, top hand spirals down. Waist spirals to bring the heart towards the center. And begin your mud stepping. and let's bring the back foot up release the arms stand where you are and let's take a deep breath in if you want to you can turn to face the screen or turn to face the front And we'll end our practice with a standing meditation for Bagua to bring more uh, sensation and energy into the palms. So we're going to stand with our feet about shoulder width distance apart. Toes are going to be turned out just a little bit. And we're going to sink into those hips, starting with the palms out in front of the navel. And here we think about spreading the fingers reaching through the thumb reaching the thumb away from pinky pinky away from thumb point your finger away from thumb and we want to round the palm and then find the soft roundedness of the wrist not a hard arc but a nice rounded arc Rounding the elbows, softening the shoulders, opening the knees, reaching down through the tailbone. And then bringing the hands up to eye level. Shoulders relax down. As we stand still, we feel the internal movements of the body. Now turn the thumbs down and hold the ball out in front of your forehead. Spread the hands, spread the fingers. Sink the shoulders, lengthen the neck. Bring the hands down. Notice if you feel any sensations in your palms now. Release the palms to face the ground below you. Notice if your body wants to naturally adjust or spontaneously adjust. Just allow it to happen. And then release the palms. Let the fingers drip with chi like water dripping off the fingertips. Elbows are rounded, armpits are open. 
Letting everything flow freely. And hopefully you feel the chi flowing freely through your body as you step your feet together, inhaling your arms up, palms together. Taking our Tai Chi salute. The coming together of yin and yang, heaven and earth, for inner peace, good health, and longevity. Thank you all so much for joining me today for the circle walking practice. Thank you everyone at home who's watching, and thanks to all of you here at Evelyn's Park. We are here every Tuesday at 9 a.m. I hope you'll join us again next week for more Tai Chi in the park. Until then, stay safe, take care, and Dao An, wishing you peace on your path.